Okay. Last but not least, periodic trends in size and ionization energy. And I've got our periodic table printed on your lecture outline handout. And I'm going to draw an arrow going this way. And I'm going to draw an arrow continuing from that and going down. And that is because as you go from the upper right to across and then down in any fashion that you want, the size of the atoms increases. Size of atom increases. And sometimes we say size of atom and sometimes we say radius, but those are the same thing for us. So cesium is one of the biggest atoms on the periodic table and fluorine and helium but I tend to just talk about fluorine because helium's up there by itself. Fluorine is one of the smallest atoms on the periodic table. And that's one of our periodic trends. Another trend is gonna be ionization energy. And the ionization energy, let's define it, it is the energy for removing the most loosely held electron. The energy for removing the most loosely held electron. And we'll talk more about that coming up, but we're going to do the trends now. And as the size of the atom increases, the electrons get farther and farther from the nucleus. They get easier and easier to remove. So big atoms have small ionization energies. And our trend is going to be that ionization energy decreases as you go to the left and as you go down. So ionization energy decreases as you go to the left and as you go down. And it doesn't matter. So if you go from fluorine to oxygen, Oxygen is both bigger than fluorine and oxygen has a smaller ionization energy than fluorine. So sulfur is bigger than oxygen. Sulfur is bigger than chlorine. Sulfur has a smaller ionization energy than either oxygen or chlorine. Um, two other trends that are not on the homework that you will see coming up. Uh, metallic character. increases. So as the atom gets bigger, those electrons get held farther and farther from the nucleus. The ionization energy decreases. It is easier to remove an electron and those easily removed electrons are what make metals conductors. So cesium, one of the best metals there is, almost too good. That's why they don't make it into wires. Last but not least, as you go to the left and down, something that we will eventually talk about called electronegativity. Decreases as well. So size of atom increases, everything else. Oh, actually it's two and two. So size of atom and metallic character increase, increase, ionization energy and electronegativity decrease and decrease. And let's actually on this same video talk about why atom size de increases down a group and increases to the left. So as example, we're gonna talk about uh, lithium atom and a rubidium, a cesium atom. And just so you know, so we will, uh, let's, let's write out electron configurations for both of these atoms. Lithium atom is 1s2, 2s1. Cesium atom, well, I'm going to use a noble gas core here. It is the same 54 first uh, electrons as xenon 
and then 6s1. For lithium atom, the highest value of the principal energy level n is n equals 2 is highest. Here, it's n equals 6 is highest. And straight away, if you look at an atom and you look at where n equals 2 is, n equals 1, n equals 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So n equals 2 is right here, n equals 6 is right here. You'd expect the one with n equals 6 to be larger. And that's, uh, if I were to describe this in words, so larger value of the principal energy level, larger value of n, larger atom. Okay. Or let's say, yes, larger highest value of n, larger atom. Now things get a little more complicated here because here, as you move left to, or to, from the right to the left across a period, and let's take lithium atom and fluorine atom. And just to check in, where's my periodic table? There it is. Lithium and fluorine are both in the same period of the periodic table. Same period, same row. If we do this, 1s2, 2s1, 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And you'll now note that both of these have their highest principal energy level, their highest value of n is n equals 2. Okay. So the last one where we says the larger the highest value of n, the larger the atom, doesn't work for this. They have the same largest or highest value of n. So then what makes the difference? Well, so let's draw pictures of these atoms. And here's n equals 1. Here's n equals 2. Here's n equals 1. And I'm going to draw this a little smaller. Here's n equals 2. So n equals 2, n equals 2. And... Um, it's this one that I'm actually going to draw the nucleus on. And by nucleus, I mean, what is the charge on these nuclei? Well, how about for a lithium atom? For a lithium atom, there are three protons. So the nucleus is plus three. So I'm going to put a plus three for the nucleus. Fluorine atom. While it has nine electrons, it has nine protons. So nine protons. It has a nucleus of plus nine. Plus nine nucleus. Plus three nucleus. Okay. So this plus nine nucleus, right? Electrons are negative. So poles the electrons closer to itself, making a smaller atom. So, even though it has more protons and more electrons, fluorine is smaller excuse me, than lithium. And you will more than likely be asked, to discuss this trend on the homework.